What's up everyone and welcome back to Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and in this video I'm going to be painting, gripping, and putting together my dream finger skateboard setup. I want to take a moment to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported the channel over the years. The channel is about to hit 40,000 subscribers, which is insane. Whether you subscribed four years ago or just recently, I want to say thank you. And as a way to say thank you, one lucky subscriber, I'm going to be gifting away a custom painted fingerboard. So if you are interested in that, make sure to stick around. I'll be going over all the details later in this video. I ordered this deck from Teak Tuning, and it is definitely one of the fanciest fingerboards that I've ever owned. It's got a natural wood deck with what looks to be like 24 karat gold trucks. Wait a minute! Rubber bushings, and it even has tiny little bearings inside of the wheels. All that's left to do is a little bit of customization and gripping the board. So without any further ado, let's get to it. I used some 400 grit sandpaper on the surface of the deck, which made it so smooth. Next, I'm gonna paint the bottom of the board with some gesso. So the acrylic paint that I used has a good surface to stick to. Nice. The process I like to use for putting down gesso is using three to four thin layers and letting it fully dry between coats, as well as sanding between the layers. The inspiration for the paint job is from the game Rocket League Sideswipe. I'm gonna be painting my car from the game with the pigeon topper flying through space. And his name is... Yeah. Two hours later. For the paint job, I'm using Liquitex Basics acrylic paints. I'll put a list of all the supplies that I use in the video description below. I also want to thank everyone who suggested ideas for painting on the board. This was one of the most popular suggestions was the space theme with the Rocket League car going through space. If you have any suggestions or want to help the site on future projects and videos upcoming on the channel, make sure to check out the community tab as well as the Discord. I'll put a link in the video description. After the paint ride, I went around the board and using an X-Acto knife, I cleaned up all the edges. And for the last details, I used a Sharpie Extra Fine paint pen, put in the lines, make everything pop. One of the last steps is to grip up the board with a sheet of foam grip tape that was included with the skateboard. Finally, the board of my dreams, it is complete. I actually really enjoyed putting together and customizing this fingerboard. And as a way to say thank you, I'm gonna customize one more fingerboard. I'm gonna let one lucky subscriber pick what design or theme that I go with and paint and paint that for them and get that away. If you are interested in winning a custom painted fingerboard from me, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll post more details on that and it will be also an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Not only does this fingerboard look a lot more realistic with the wood board, but it also has a really nice feel to it. And I found that it was really consistent and I was able to do a lot of tricks on it pretty easily. Felt like it was way more consistent than the Tech Deck and it has a little softer feel to it and everything kind of just has a little bit more style to it. In case you're wondering, yes, that is sticky eraser that I'm using to stick down some random objects for my obstacle course.
That was legit. That was okay, that about wraps up my dream fingerboard skateboard build. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace.